frightening experience where I fell out in a yoga class um, and I couldn't get back up. I thought I was dehydrated and I went home. Well, I didn't go home, I was rushed to the hospital. No stroke, they thought I was having a stroke. Um, and it, it, it turned out it wasn't. Um, so I went home, rested, hydrated, slept, took care of myself, and I still couldn't get better. I still couldn't get the vertigo to stop. Even with the medicine the hospital gave me, I, I couldn't get to stop. In seven days, I found the Upper Cervical Spine Center, and I'm forever grateful. When I got here, I couldn't drive myself. My, my husband had to drive me. Um, and so the loss of being able to drive yourself was very emotional because um, I'm this independent woman and uh, strong and to be having to be taken care of. Um, that was uh, very, very humbling. Once I had my x-rays and exams, everything showed up red and, uh, and I cried. <laughs> Dr. Drury assured me that he could straighten me out. He could straighten my spine. He said, ah, we can handle this. It's no big deal. And so I wanted a, a, an adjustment right then and there. And he said, I don't do that. I said, what do you mean you don't do that? And he says, I don't do that. He says, I need to study your x-rays. I'm all holistic. I, I, I don't want to pop a pill. Um, I believe that medication is acidic. You, you, you put a band-aid with medicine. Let's get to the root cause. And that's the difference with the upper cervical spine center. He got to the root cause of what, you know, I'd had pain, but I just decided this is something I'm gonna live with, um, but I didn't understand. And number one, he helped educate me. So I was like, oh, why do I have to go to the, um, the orientation? Well, one, it helped me understand even more. Um, two, he gave me a book, a guidebook um, that he had written, his experiences, what I should be expecting after your first exam, your second exam. You know, he gave me the whole curve of my healing. Would I go down? Would I go up? How would I feel? And so when I went home and I was feeling, you know, my hip hurt, whatever. I knew, oh, doctor, he said, to, told me, drink plenty of water and take your Epsom salt baths. Rest. I told him, I said, doc, I don't understand. He says, Leslie, you're not back to 100 yet, so you can't do everything you used to do. Take your time. Be patient. I literally couldn't walk. I couldn't see. I didn't know what was going on with me zero medication and I'm I'm walking I'm driving I continue to say and it's my personal mantra uh, healing is already in place in my body and I just say it over and over and over again healing is already in place in my body and it is and it is and it's my own healing from inside with God and the upper cervical spine center.